So we had truck today. And today was the truck with the other manager on vacation. Which is fine. She needed vacation. The problem arose when we found out the truck was 2,100 pieces. Cases. Whatever you want to call it. Which, under normal circumstances, would be fine. A little annoying, but whatever. But, with her on vacation, and then, you know, that's a thousand pieces more than we get on average. Um, it, it's really annoying, because <laughs> you, like, you're kind of expecting it to not be too bad, and then suddenly it's real bad, and then she's still on vacation, so you can't, like, you can't tell her. Because... <laughs> You know, you, you want your co-workers to enjoy your, their vacation, so it's like, come the fuck on, what am I supposed to do? This is gonna suck ass. So we didn't get done until 11 o'clock, and then I never was able to find anybody to come in as the opening cashier. So normally we have a couple of people in to stock during truck to give us back the U-boats. Yeah, couldn't have that because she needed to be the opening cashier. She stayed as long as she could, but that left about half an hour of me on my own until the midday shifts came in, which sucked ass. But I made it through, and I'll, I'll be fine. Tired, but fine. Got one more day, and then I'm off Friday, Saturday. So I, I have a DMV appointment on Saturday that I need to get ready for. But let me get through tomorrow first. I was at work today, and I made a, a very harrowing discovery. That discovery is that it's August already. How the fuck is it August already? Like, I can very distinctly <laughs> remember what happened in January as if it were like last week and I'm like huh <laughs> what happened where did this year go we're in the back half of the year in the last couple of months now so what where what huh and this is a feeling that I have been getting more frequently as time goes on um I think it's just a byproduct of getting older, which sucks because time marches on. You don't get younger. But it was a really weird feeling to be like, wait, the year's almost over. What happened? Friendly reminder, my printer is noisy as all hell. I didn't have work today. That's fine. But let me tell you what I was doing today. I was looking for this and I was tearing apart my room for it. And what this is, is a folder that I bring whenever I need to go to the DMV. And it has just a bunch of important documentation in it. So I, I always need it when I go to somewhere like the DMV where I need this documentation. And I plan on going to the DMV tomorrow. I have an appointment. So I kind of need it. Um, so I had to tear apart the room to find it. And I found it. And I need to print a new... Um, I needed to print a new bank statement. Because the, <laughs> the one in there was two, three years old now, I think. So I definitely could get rid of it. And need a new one. So I printed out the one for July. But I have it. And I'm going tomorrow morning, and hopefully things pan out well. But I also, while I was doing that, dug out this, because it, it's not a terrible thing to, to have. So I can um, refresh myself on stuff when I am ready to take the, the written test. Which is the main reason I don't have a license yet. Um, I've failed. 
the written test for the New Jersey license a few times. A few times. Um, but that's it. Otherwise, it was not a very um, crazy day. I do plan on streaming later, so we'll see how that goes. So while I was at the DMV, a lot of things happened. To start, uh, I had a friend bring me because they were available and people in the house, it's hard to find a time where we're all available. So I go in, do my business, start to leave. Car won't start. Turns out something's wrong with the battery. It's fixed now. But it was, it led to us being stuck there for a few hours. During those few hours, a guy gets escorted out by the police. I am gonna make a complaint. Now there's gonna be a complaint on you. I'm gonna be freaking contacting the insurance department for New Jersey. We're on a Crown Point Road. I'm not going anywhere. It's fucking Saturday. What are you fucking stupid? I don't contact internal affairs. And this guy starts harassing this uh, this other younger dude. What are you doing? Go fuck your mind your business. Go fuck your mind your business. No, go fuck your mother. You're fucking following me for no good reason. What the f and accusing the younger dude of, of following him around while he was the one antagonizing the younger dude. So they end up fighting. Oh shit. Just wild. Wild thing to happen at the DMV. Depending on your area, it might be normal, but I, this is the first time I've gone to this DMV a few times, and this is the first time I've seen it happen there. And even the dude's friend was like, dude, I got my picture taken. I turned around and see you swinging on this dude. What happened? Ultimately, the older dude who was causing problems got arrested. Because he was causing problems. <laughs> but it was an eventful day. It was ridiculous. <laughs> I'm home. I'm ready to relax. I'm gonna stream in a little bit. I think I'm gonna play Persona. I haven't played it in a while, and I did say that if I uh, have it installed, I could play it. I'll tell you about it tomorrow. I told you I would talk about it tomorrow. It's tomorrow. So I did that Persona stream, right? And it's been quite some time since I played last, I think a little over two years. But I picked it back up, and apparently I changed the difficulty at some point. Because I was barely taking any damage, enemies were taking a lot of damage, and I was getting a ton more XP and a ton more money. So, bartering with chat, I uh, changed the settings again to something a little bit better. Um, and frankly, I did okay. Um, similar to the format of Persona 5, you go X amount of time before you have to, to, to beat the new dungeon area thing. So this one I did in one day. Started and ended it in a single sitting, which is pretty good. I know some of that has to do with the, um, difficulty thing. It's fine. It's gonna... As time goes on, I'll get more, like, back into it. The more streams of it I do. But, all in all, it's been okay. Uh, I definitely enjoyed playing it again after so long, and I'm gonna try to do them regularly-ish. Um, the problem with Persona is that I prefer Kim and Nikhil to be there, because they're the ones who sat through all of Persona 5. So unless I know for a fact that they're both going to be there, I'm going to be a little bit reluctant to, to play it. Uh, but I also would also like them to be there for Xenoblade 3 because they, you know, paid money to have me do all the side quests. I'll get there when I get there. <laughs> um, but by and large, it's been, um, it's been fun. And trying to, like reintroduce myself to the persona mechanics are a little rough, but I'll get there.
But I had fun. So. All in all, it was a good time. So we did our, uh, our monthly meeting today. Um, discussed a few things, got ideas ready for, for plays. Pikmin is ending soon. It is ending this month. Um, so we were kind of trying to figure out what the plan is for the next few games. And we have a few ideas planned. And that'll be coming out as it's ready, as with everything on plays. But by and large, not too, not too many uh, issues coming up. Uh, one thing that we had planned has fallen by the wayside, so we need to get that back in gear. We'll get there when we get there, but because that relies on other people as well. But we'll see how that goes. Um, you know, having these monthly meetings helps, like make sure we're both on the same page, me and Luna, because if we're not, <laughs> then it, uh, makes it harder to keep track of things. Granted, we can, we, we can and do still, like, text regularly, but having, like, a dedicated place for, uh, business discussions, place discussions effectively, um, is very helpful, because it, like, makes sure everything is, like, easily accessible if we need to reference something later on. <sighs> and that's why I enjoy having these, uh, these, these monthly meetings. Let me tell you, sometimes you get some really good things at work. Dollar Tree, every once in a while, will send us a thing that's like really good. And it's weird that it's that good because it's just generic brand. Not even like generic brand. I'm sure this is a brand that's like somebody knows outside of Dollar Tree. Marcel's Modern Pantry. Yeah, I really like their French vanilla. It's like my go-to when I'm having a coffee. But it never comes in high enough volume, and it sucks. Because I like coffee, but I don't drink a lot of coffee. Because the way that I like coffee relies on having some kind of French vanilla. And this is my favorite, and we never have it, because I can't I can't say it's hard to get because I haven't like gone like super in depth trying to look at other stores in the area. But it would be nice to, you know, get it at work where it's like easy to come by. So uh, when I do get it at work, I buy a couple of them, especially cuz they're so small. I'm gonna go sit. I'm gonna go enjoy my coffee. I'm gonna go work on catching the vlog up. So I now have to transfer files onto my Mac to be able to get them on my computer to edit. Because normally I would have it plugged in down here because the ones on the back don't work, the USB ports. And now even this is trying not to work anymore, and that's getting frustrating because 
I need to be able to get these video files onto the computer to be able to edit them. So what the fuck? <laughs> you know? Well, as you can see, I got this out. It definitely was not the easiest thing to do because it um, gave me trouble the whole way trying to transfer the thing. But I did figure out why I was having so much trouble. So my computer has, any computer really, has limited USB bandwidth. Um, and I suspect that mom was doing something with the USB drive that I have plugged in, because that is set up to, to broadcast to the network. And because of that, I think it was using all the USB bandwidth on the computer. Weirdly enough, it didn't use the, um... the SD card. So I'm, I'm gathering that that's running off of something different. I don't remember. It's been so long since I like dug through the internals of my computer. But it is interesting to see that that worked when the USB stuff didn't. Oh well. <laughs> uh, by and large, that means when I go to edit this vlog, I shouldn't have any issues, I hope. Speaking of that, it's the end of the week now. So, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Hope you had yourself a damn good one. And I will see you next week.